been 10 months since the Suslick family laid a loved one to rest in an Auburn cemetery. But the headstone remains unfinished with an error in the inscription. Tonight, News Channel 9's Farah Jadrin getting answers for a family looking for peace. Auburn St. Joseph Cemetery, a place meant for peace, is filled with unrest for Althea Suslick's family. Althea's husband David was diagnosed with gallbladder cancer in 2014. Given just a year to live, they chose a monument for a future burial site. David surpassed the one-year mark, making new memories until he passed away last October. Loved me, loved his family, loved our kids. All of our kids, all of his kids. And everybody just, you knew when he was around, he just made you laugh. That his laughter, we miss so much. The angel stone couldn't be set until after the winter ground thawed. In the meantime, Auburn Monument gave them a custom marker free of charge, something Althea cherishes. In April, when the angel was placed in the cemetery, the family found a glaring error. David's birth date was wrong. It was upsetting because we waited so long for this. And then to come up here, it just wasn't right. The angel cost the Suslicks thousands of dollars. Auburn Monument owner John Hurd says his former stonecutter committed the birth year error, also missing two large urns for each side of the angel. He said that he would get it fixed, and then months would go by and I wouldn't hear anything from him. Over the phone, Hurd tells us he's working on making things right. Our family needs it right. We need some closure. This is part of it. It's been a long 10 months without him, and I'm just afraid that it's not going to get done. Our Farah Jadran working on one of your stories. Farah, did Auburn Monument give you any indication of when the stone might be repaired? Well, Rod, the owner, John Hurd, told me that the base with the correct birth date is going to be fixed by the end of next week. And as for the urns, he says those will be delivered and shipped by Labor Day. And he says they will be brought to the St. Joseph Cemetery as soon as possible. And I did tell him we will be checking in with him about both of these. And we'll uh, be doing that very soon. All right, Farah, thank you. Good work. And remember, if you have a story idea, give us a call anytime at 315-446-9900 or send an email to yourstories at localsyr.com.